Let's start. Today we will see how to create a Pine script object in the TradingView Pine script. If we want to store multiple values in some variables, which are related to each other, we can store those variables inside a Pine script object. So that we can have a single access point for those relatable values. Let's see the code. This is an indicator function with the name, Pine script object. Here we have created an object whose name is the candle object. We will store the open, high, low, and close data of a candle in this object. Here we fill the object with some hard-coded values of open, high, low, and close. We name the object as object1. Then we create a label and display these values. Here we extract the values from the object like this object1.open, object1.high, and so on. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, the values stored inside the object are visible on a label. But, is it compulsory to write all the values inside the object? What if I only want to pass a few values and skip the remaining values? That is also possible. Let's see how to do that. As you can see, earlier we had passed open, high, low, and close values inside the object. But now, I have only passed the open value in the object and skipped the remaining values. Let's save this code and check again. As you can see, since we had only passed the open value inside the object, the open value is correctly shown here. And since the other values were not passed, those values remained empty. And that is why the Pine script shows the NAN value here. NAN means not a number. So that's it. That's how we can create an object in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.